Hi, I'm Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report, and we are here for day two of the Creative Arts Emmys. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, do you know what I watch over and over on CNBC? Shark Tank. Shark Tank. But why aren't you watching on ABC? Then you can see the original episodes and then watch it again on CNBC. I find that I'm not home when it's first run. I can put it on my DVR right. though. Okay, yeah. I accept that. But I, I find I watch it back to back to back to back. I had like six hours of it. It's a good binge, yeah. And then I find I'm like, oh, here's that episode again. Like, I'll watch it again, even though I know the outcome. Right, isn't that crazy? I know. Well, but then be, because then you're like more, you can play the part of the shark. And you can like, you know, figure it out more. Be like, come on. I always watch the one and it plays quite a bit. The woman that had like the dating app and you'd leave the card. and It was a conversation. You know which one I'm talking about, though. It's like something bitten or I don't know. It's on a lot. It's on a lot. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite uh, story? I don't want to say episode, but I want to say story of like someone coming so in. So many. I mean, over the 10 years, there have been so many. You know, it's really such a beautiful show to work on. But one that stuck with me was the mission belt. This guy had a, he had a mission, which was to feed the homeless. And he had a belt, which was like a ratchet system belt. And I think he made like the first month after Shark Tank, or the first year after Shark Tank, he did like $20 million. And the next year, like $50 million. And and got to fulfill his mission, which is really kind of like a nice story. Yeah, that's the best part. Had he, did he make a deal or did he wind up not yeah. making a deal? Yeah, no, I did a deal. I can't remember who was. My wife knows. She's the producer on the show. Hey, who did the mission belt deal? Which shark? Damon John, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, I always find it fascinating, too. Sometimes you don't get a deal and you still wind up with success. Well, exactly. There's sort of the Shark Tank effect, right? So people want to be on the show because then they're on national television. And we try to, you know, we try to avoid having people on for the wrong reasons. Um, but there's definitely an effect whether you're on, whether you get a deal or not. And, and frankly, some of, the, some of the deals are worth turning down for these companies because it would blow up their company. They'd have to give away too much or they wouldn't be able to follow their dreams and do it the way they want. And they're better off not taking the deals. It's, it's been kind of interesting too, because I, I frequent Wicked Cupcakes a lot, which has been one of your greatest yeah, successes. Yeah. I love them. I'm from Massachusetts too, so I like to support my home state. Um, but also the ice cream ladies, and I can't think of the name right off the top of my head, but I order that all the time as gifts and they did not make a deal. Eat Creamery. Eat Creamery, and she blew up, right? Blew up. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's it's it has nothing to do with the deal, really. Although the the the, you know, the contacts and the things a shark can do for you are priceless. Yeah, and sometimes it's the personalities I resonate with. I'm like, oh, I want to support their business. Right, exactly. Absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank I you. love that Shark Tank goes on and on and on. Yes, let's keep going. Another 10 years. I will continue to binge watch. All right. Thank Perfect. You. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and in the comments below, let us know who you're rooting for this Emmy season.